Today my topic is Craig's plot. Before I go in detail about this plot, I will tell you what is ADME. ADME means absorption, distribution, metabolism and excretion of a drug. Now, drug analysis was done by many a scientist. One of them was Hans. He proposed drug action was divided into two stages, pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamics. Now, uh, due to this, most of the problems were solved. But still some disadvantages of this Hans uh, uh, drug action theory was uh, like stereochemistry which played an important role was ignored. The confirmation of the compound like orientation of groups like endo, exo, it was also ignored. To all these aspects were considered in Craig's plots. Now, what is Craig's plot? These are two-dimensional plots of one substituent parameter against another used in rational drug design. So, here this Craig plot, it involves or it is divided into four sections. Therefore, it gives the best possible analog that we need. Now, here, it gives negative phase as well as positive phase. Negative phase extends into Hans analysis. Positive phase, if only like positive phase, if only positive was given, then equation may not give the correct results. On the left side, on the left side, when we look at the plot, the left side we get negative for a negative pi values we get negative delta see the graph on the left side positive delta for negative log pi values negative delta for negative pi values on the right side you can see both are plus, plus delta, plus pi and even though minus delta, plus pi. So we have variation, we have all the needed variation. Like for example, if log pi value is positive, delta value is positive. Here in this plot, in this side of the plot. Therefore, it may decrease in ballistical activity. Now, check this one. Log pi value is positive, but log delta value is negative. Therefore, it may increase the ballistical activity. Thus, this is one of the best method to achieve results where we get increase in ballistical activity value. Based on these requirements, we can use the values which are already given in this Craig's plot. Now, if high activity analogs are required, the substituents should be chosen from the lower right hand quadrant of the plot. These are some of the values which have already been plotted by the scientist and given. So, we can directly use them whenever we need. Like for example, you can see here methoxy. It is having minus 2, minus 0.25. When we see another uh, example, like tertiary butyl, it will be over here. Value is 1.6. So, in this way, you can select values of various substituents. It is having more advantages than Hans plot since both values are provided. So, this Craig's plot is considered more, more better in finding the best possible analog for a drug design. Thanks for watching.